Now, we understood what is law of demand, what are the assumptions, let's understand what are the exceptions. See, law of demand will not hold true when it comes to Giffen goods. Why? Because these are special type of highly inferior goods in which when the price of the goods increases, the demand for goods increases and vice versa. So when the price decreases, instead of demand going up, the demand will also increase. So this is known as the positive price effect. Now this Giffen goods are named after Sir Robert Giffen because he was the person who saw this particular behavior and came out with this particular exception to law of demand. So he observed that the factory workers of Britain purchase more of the bread when the price increased because the price of this other staple foods which the consumer used to consume also increased. So what happened was that because these workers were not able to afford other staple foods due to the increase in their price so they started demanding more bread. So what happened was let's say if they were consuming bread, milk, cheese. Okay, I'm just giving you a hypothetical example. So bread was the inferior good out here. Okay, milk and cheese being a normal goods. Okay, now what happened was when the price of bread increases, so there was also an increase in the price of milk and cheese, right? So what happened instead of the consumer, that is these workers, demanding less of bread they started demanding more of bread because they couldn't afford purchasing milk or cheese now when the price of milk and the other normal goods and as well as the inferior goods went down so what happened here they could afford the normal goods that is cheese and milk so they started demanding more of cheese and milk rather than demanding more of bread okay Next comes your conspicuous consumption. Now what is that? See, this will not apply, that is law of demand will not apply when it comes to costly items such as platinum jewellery, okay, premium cars or maybe very high-end perfumes. Why? Because these commodities would be demanded irrespective of the prices. So even when the price goes up, the demand will either increase or remain constant. So that's an exception to law of demand. Okay. Now let's see the next exception that is ignorance. What is that? Consumer is not aware about the competitive price of the commodity. If that is the scenario, then he would purchase the goods in spite of the price increase. So here the law of demand becomes ineffective when the consumer is ignorant about the competitive prices of a commodity okay now if the consumer has future expectations regarding the change in price then the law of demand becomes ineffective so if he thinks that the price of a particular good is falling but he expects that it would fall further in future let's say real estate demand for homes now if the price of a flat or let's say a price of a house in my locality is falling but i'm expecting more fall so even because of the fall i'll not demand because my expectation is that the price in future is going to fall further at that time i would demand a home or maybe i'll go and purchase a home okay then comes your necessities see law of demand will not apply to necessities such as medicines, no matter what, even if the prices are increasing, you will go and buy medicines because that are necessities, you have to maintain your health. So demand for necessities remains constant irrespective of the price change. So these are the exceptions to law of demand.